Once again, I would like to welcome everybody to our Thursday program of God's platform that um, cheer up the word works. And before anything else, I would like to invite everybody in a short prayer. Father God in heaven, we praise you and we thank you, Lord God, for being with us. Holy Spirit of God, we praise you, Lord God, for this wonderful time that you are with us. You have said in your word, when two or three are gathered in your name, you are here in our presence, Lord God. Marami, marami salamat, Panginoon, for every opportunity that you have given us in our lives that we can walk in your path. We can walk in your word, Lord God. Holy Spirit of God, thank you, Lord God, for your mighty power. And we allow you, Lord God, to work your way in this platform. We allow you, Lord God, to change our hearts, Lord God. We allow you to send your word. We allow you to change our hearts. We allow you to change our minds, O Lord God, that we may live the way the Lord had planned for all of us. Thank you, Lord God, for your victory, Lord God, once again at this time. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, good evening um, to my brothers and sisters. Um, like what I have mentioned before last Thursday that I will be with you guys um, for the whole month of October. Praise God sa pagkilos ng Panginoon sa ating, uh, sa, uh, sa ating uh, gawain sa mga oras na ito. Remember that um, last Thursday, the, the Lord had given us His word. He said that in John 10.10, 10, the thief referring to Satan comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. He's going to make ways. Remember that the devil has so many schemes. Maraming ano yan. He has so many uh, 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 ways to deceive us. Para tayo ay mad, ma, magoyo, para tayo ay manin lang sa mga kaparaanan niya. Siyempre, ang tangin niya, bukod tangin niya dahilan doon ay para hindi natin maranasan ang kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Because if we are going to stick on the Word of God, because if we are going to to um, uh, walk on the Word of God, definitely God's Word has promises. May pangako ang Diyos sa Kanyang salita. At pag, pag ito'y na atin nilalakaran, ito'y magbibigay ng katagumpayan sa atin. Gusto ba ito ni Satanas? Of course not. It doesn't matter like this thing. Tulad na sinabi nga ng Panginoon doon sa, sa kanyang salita in 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2, T- 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. The, word, the Lord says here, Preach the word of God. Preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching with good teaching. Preach the Word of God. When we preach the Word of God, when we say good teaching, it's not always that you're going to preach good things. Like, I mean, like, like for example, like yung, yung lagi nagpapataba ng puso ng tao, yung, sometimes, remember, uh, tulad na sinabi ng Pan- Panginoon doon, in, um, in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, um, God's Word is God's, uh, the Word of God is God's bread. It is used to rebuke, to correct, to train us for righteousness. To rebuke, we need to stay. Pag sinabi mong rebuke, tigilan mo yung ginagawa mo, masama yan. Pag correct naman, ibig sabihin nun, huwag mong gawin yan. Ito, dahil ito yung mag, uh, magdudulot sa'yo ng kapahamakan. This is what you meant by correct. This is what you meant by rebuke. Okay? So sometimes, ayaw natin ng rebuke kasi. Kasi nga pagka nire-rebuke tayo, masakit. Pag tayo kinokorek, ayaw natin tanggapin kasi nga feeling natin tayo yung tama. Why? Because we like the, the things that we are doing. However, it says here, preach the word of God. Be prepared. When you, when you talk about be prepared there, it, it only means to say like, uh, uh, for example, like, hindi ibig sabihin nun ay, for example, ngayong gabi ay, mag, ano ka, magbabasa ka ng salita ng Diyos. For example, the whole day. For example, this the whole day. Tumbong araw to, magandang magandang nangyari sa, bu- sa buhay mo. Uh, you prayed a lot, you, you prayed at every moment, you, 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 you know, nagbibigay ka sa mga, uh, sa mga, um, uh, nang nanlilimos sa'yo, you helped your friend, 
imbis na ano uh, no, yung mga nagkalas, nagkasala sa iyo, pinatawad mo. I mean like, everything worked well that day. Pagdating mo ng bahay, nagsal- nagbagsa ka ng salita ng Diyos, you are alive and you are so happy and you have that power, damang-dama mo ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Pagdating ng umaga, you woke up at the wrong side of the bed. Andiyan na yung bad mood. Bahay pa lang, umaga pa lang, nag-away na kayo ng kapatid mo, nag-away na kayo ng pamangkin mo, nag-away na kayo ng bayaw mo, nag-away na kayo ng tatay mo. O kaya hindi man ikaw ang nag-away doon, pero narinig mo yung away nila, suddenly it sunk in in your mind, it sunk in in your heart. Paglabas mo sa bahay, uh, nakasuot-suot mo yung favorite outfit mo, pag may dumaan na tricycle, may dumaan na motor, nakilamsikan yung damit mo, eh ang layo-layo mo na dun sa ano. Ay, for example, like, uh, an- oh, yun, nagpalit ka ng damit. So, maaari na hindi mong gusto yung magpalit ng damit kasi nga, ito yung ngayon iniisip mo, yung damit mong uh, suot niyan, yung iniisip mong suotin mo. Or for example, ando doon ka na, malayo ka na doon sa, 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 ano mo, sa bahay mo, ando doon, malapit ka na doon sa, sa uh, trabaho mo, biglang meron dumaan nga ng uh, motor o kaya kotse. Tumalamsik yung, ano, yung putik, tuma, ano, tuma, uh, mamansyahan ang iyong damit. Tapos, pag, pagdating mo doon sa elevator, eh, meron yung buong elevator ninyo, laman buong ng elevator ninyo, ubo ng ubo, ubo ng ubo. Eh, di syempre, natakot ka, COVID. I mean, like, all of these things, naging, ano na, naging negative na. It says there, be prepared. Whatever you have experienced, be prepared. Same thing, of, with, same thing also with the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we, are, we were created in the image of Christ. So the reason why He gave us His Word is in order for us to walk on His Word. The reason why the, the Bible was given to us in order for us to see papaano ba ang, papaano ba ang diskarte ng Panginoong Heso Kristo dito. During those times, nung kinukutsa ba ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, nung siya ay nilalait ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, when many people do not believe in the power of God, when, when many people do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, when, when many people do not believe in the Word of God, when many people do not believe in God, did they stop preaching? Did they stop um, healing people? No. Bagkos, mas lalo pa niya ipinapakita o ipinapadama ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct and rebuke and encourage your people with good preaching. We have done this one before. Remember, going back again, lahat tayo, uh, brothers and sisters, ay may kaparaan kung paano tayo nakakilala sa Panginoon. Maybe it was a family, uh, one of our family who led us to Christ. Nanay natin, tatay natin, kapatid natin, tiyuhin natin, tiyahin natin. Maari naman din yung mga kaibigan natin. During those times, we were bombarded with so much problem. And then, the Lord had, had given us friends to share His Word. And then when we when when we hear God's word, when we heard God's word through our friend, we received Him, and because of that, we were on fire. Alam mo yun yung 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 ah 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 hatik na hatik hati, ano ka yung ano yun yung gigil na gigil ka ba na to, ano na maranasan din na mga kaibigan mo ang salita na just to the point that you even um go to your uh, your friend's house and then you share God's word. Yung, you, you know about the excitement. You know, you, I, I know very well that you knew um, uh, what, where I am going to, o, o ano yung sinasabi ko. Let's go back on that those times. In um, First Thessalonians chapter four, chapter uh, First Thessalonians chapter four verse one. Finally, dear brothers and sisters, we urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to live in a way that pleases God as we have taught you. You live this way already. Ikinamumuhay mo na ito. Dati pa. You have been living this way already. And we encourage you to do more. Remember, doon sa salita kanina in 2 Timothy chapter 4, preach the word of God. Patiently, correct, when, when you preach the Word of God, when you deliver the Word of God, what, you're go- what you are doing there is you are patiently correcting, you are patiently rebuking, and you are patiently encouraging your people with good teaching. You are encouraging them. 
Same thing here. You live this way already. Same thing. We get encouraged. You live this way already and we encourage you to do so even more. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters, to share the Word of God. Let us not be, well, hindi ko naman, ano, hindi ko naman, um, I am not pointing on the mistakes of Christians because I don't, I, mali naman din ata, yun, yun magturo, you know. Sabi nga ng Panginoon, eh, bago ka magturo doon sa mali ng, ng ibang tao, tingnan mo muna yung mata mo. Baka mas malaki pa nga yung muta mo doon sa mata mo, eh. That's in the book of Matthew. Before looking at the mistakes of others, look at yourself first. Baka mas marumi ang pangaginagawa mo. Baka mas mali pang ginagawa mo. Eh. Yes, you know the Word of God. Yes, probably you are reading the Word of God and you know the Word of God. But nonetheless, it's because that you think that you are perfect or it's because, not, it's, it's because that you think that you are following the Word of God, you are going to point on the many mistakes of people. No, that's not the way. The Word of God says there, encourage people. Just the way how the Lord encouraged you getting to know Him. Many Christians, I ho- all, kahit naman ako din eh, na experience ko din yun. It opened my mind on that. That many Christians, they, it's a common thing because we have the freedom. Meron tayong kalayaan na lumapit sa Panginoon. So the only thing that we do is just like to, when we pray, we just pray for ourselves. We pray for our needs. We pray for our family, immediate family. We pray for our needs, basic needs. Pag tayo nagkasala, humihingi tayo ng tawa. Pag meron tayong kailangan, humihingi tayo ng pangangailangan natin. Pag meron tayong may sakit, humihingi tayo ng kagalingan ng ating mga sakit. But dito do we know Remember, in the book of Rick Warren, our main purpose in life is to worship God. And worshiping God, basically, is doing God's way. Doing God's way. Preaching the gospel. Ito ang layunin natin, brothers and sisters. Our purpose in life is not to pamper ourselves. Hindi tayo ang pinapamper natin ating mga sarili. Kundi ang layunin natin kung bakit tayo nakatanggap sa Panginoon sa Kristo upang maranasan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos at magamit tayo na maihayag ang Kanyang salita. That is the purpose. That is our main purpose in life. To preach the Word of God. To bring salvation to many people ang dami pang hindi pa nakakatanggap sa Panginoon. Our time in our time our time here on earth is so short. Napakaikli na lang. So we have to make the we have to make uh, the most of every opportunity. If you're going to read your Bible in Ephesians chapter um Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 or for, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. It says there, make the most of every opportunity. Make the most of every opportunity, brothers and sisters. Make the most of every opportunity. Make the most of every opportunity. Because the Lord always gives opportunity for us every day, every single minute of our lives. He gives us every opportunity. What are these opportunity? For example, ang hirap mo magpatawad. The next day, He's going to give you a person na, na uh, magkakamalik sa'yo. Bakit? The Lord has ways for us to walk in His Word. He's going to give you um, circumstances. He's going to give you opportunities. He's giving to give you situation. He's going to give you occurrence that you are going to practice what you have heard, what you have um, l- heard and then learned in His Word. No narinig mo ng, no alam ng Panginoon, ang hirap mo magpatawad, bibigyan ka ng mga oportunidad na yan. Mga taong mahirap patawarin. He's going to give you all of these people to wrong you for you to grow, for you to exercise the opportunity of forgiving. Kung, ay, kung hindi naman ikaw yung taong mapagbigay, He's going to give you or He's going, una-una, bibigyan ka ng kanyang mga katuroan. He's going to give you a lot of, of His word in, his, in, in the Bible about giving. 
and then he's going to use that tool to bless you. Kaso nga lang, it's because it's very difficult for you to give. So he's going to give you many opportunities. Meron mga tao dyan maglalakad, nangangailangan, mag, kailangan mo magbigay. Meron kang mga kaibigan na nangangailangan din ng tulong. I'm not telling that you have to give. You have to pray for that first. But ipanalangin mo muna kung uh, okay lang. Okay kasi for, there are times that it's okay for us to give. However, ito ba yung gusto ng Panginoon? Do not just give. Brothers and sisters, do not just give. Pray to the Lord. Because the Lord is going to give you direction. The Lord is going to give you that, that joy. Sometimes nga pain. Sometimes God is going to give you the pain to give. Yung masakit pa sa bulsa para magbigay. Yung mga matatabang lupa na ginagamit sa simbahan. Ang iyong pastor. Ang iyong kaibigan. Na ayaw na ay- yung galit na galit ka. Not even, na, ano eh, not even kaibigan eh. Probably your neighbor na galit na galit ka. He's going to use all of these uh, opportunities in order for you to exercise giving. He's going to give you opportunity also to preach His Word, which is um, our, our first thing of calling. So He's going to equip you, bibigyan ka ng mga salita, mga rhema word. This rhema word that you are receiving, brothers and sisters, is not only meant for you, but it is also meant, kasi nilakara mo yung rhema word, habang nilalakara mo na pagtatagumpayan mo ang ang iyong problema kasi nilalakara mo ang salita ng Diyos noong napagtagumpayan mo na it will not end there why because this mean this thing that happened to you will be a ministry to other people make the most of every opportunity Ephesians 5 verse 16 make the most of every opportunity in this evil days in this evil days Because the, the Lord knows very well that in this, simula pa nung panahon ni Kristo, simula pa nung ginawa niya ang mundo, He knew very well that there are, e- there are how do you call that, the days are evil. Nonetheless, we are nearing. Papalapit na kasi tayo. Papalapit na tayo sa pagdating ng Antichrist. While we are living our days, while we are living our lives this way, Little do we know, eh baka adyadyaan na nga eh. Baka isinilang ng Antichrist eh. Tayo eh nag enjoy pa rin. God is preparing us. Eye-opener lang yan, brothers and sisters. This is an eye-opener from the Lord. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Opportunity to be the steward of the Lord. Opportunity to preach the Word of God. Opportunity to bring salvation to people who may not know who Jesus Christ is. We are held accountable for them. Lahat yan, God is going to give you these opportunities. To be his steward of hope. Remember that you are a be- you are God's beacon of light. We are the salt and light of this world. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. It says there, For we are God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Ikaw ay ginawa ng Diyos. He created you in Christ Jesus. He created you in Christ Jesus. So you can do, so I and you can do the good things He planned for us long ago. So meaning to say, bago pa nilikha ang lola mo, at bago pa nilikha ang lolo mo, at bago pa nilikha ang, ang, ang tatay mo, at bago pa nilikha ang nanay mo, alam na ng Panginoon na ikaw ay sisilang sa buong sa mundong ito. You are never an accident in the eyes of the Lord. God sees you. Nakita ka na niya. The reason why he 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 um, brought you to this life, the reason why he made ways for you to be with us in this program, it's because the Lord wants you to be reminded that you are God's masterpiece. You are created in Christ to do good that He planned. 
for all of us long ago. This thing, this day, this very minute is never an accident to the Lord. Hindi aksidente ito sa, Panginoon, sa, 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 sa mata ng Panginoon dahil ginawa niya ito, dahil pinlano niya ito. I never planned to be um, um, to be here with you guys. But I was given the privilege, the opportunity, the opportunity. God gives us every opportunity in life. Make the most of every opportunity. And this is my opportunity. This is your opportunity, brothers and sisters. This is our opportunity to do good because these days are evil. You we were created. Ikaw ay nilalang para gumawa ng mabubuting bagay. But because John 10.10 10 is there, may, kapa- may kaparaanan na ang si Satanas para tayo ay linglangin, para tayo ay goyoin, Para tayo ay, uh, you know, when, when we pray for something, uh, for example, like, Lord, uh, bless me with work. Pinagpala ka ng Panginoon trabaho. Lord, bless me with promotion. Pinapromote ka. Uh, Doon sumunod sa, sa trabaho. Lord, bless me with, with, with work. Pinagpala ka ng Panginoon ng trabaho. Lord, bless me with cell phone. Binigyan ka ng kaparaanan para makabili ng cell phone. Lord, bless me with promotion. Binigyan ka ng promotion. Lord, bless me with a better cell phone. With a tablet, with a with a PC, pinagpala ka ng Panginoon doon. And then what? For all of these things, to take Him away? For all of these things, to take you away from Him? Para sa mga cellphone na hawak mo, sa mga tablet na hawak mo, sa mga PC na hawak mo, ito ang mga bagay na, na aagawin ka sa Panginoon. Make every opportunity. Use every opportunity for the Lord. Remember this one, brothers and sisters, you were made by God to do good. In First Thessalonians chapter 4 there, you were doing these things before. Ginagawa mo na ito. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, eh, yung pangapanahon na tayo ay bago nakakilala sa Panginoon, Buhayin natin yon that excitement of preaching and sharing God's word. Preach in every season. Preach the word of God. Be prepared whether if it's favorable or not. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 16. Preach the word of God. Paano yan, Brother Penang? Eh, wala akong ano eh. eh. Hindi ako katulad mo eh. Brother and sister, I am not a pastor. But God is using His Word. Ginagamit ng Panginoon ang Rhema Word. Yung natutunan mo, yung tumago sa iyong puso, gagamitin ng Panginoon yan para baguhin ka. Gagamitin ng Panginoon para lakaran mo ang Kanyang salita. At pag nilakaran mo ang Kanyang salita, may pagbabago. At yung pagbabago mong yun, yun ang gagamitin din ng Panginoon para kuminos din sa buhay ng tao upang ito ay magbigay ng daan ng pagbabago sa tao ngayon. Your existence here on earth brothers and sisters, is never an accident. God has a purpose for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Tulad na sinabi ko sa inyo, what we're going to do here, what the Lord is going to um, give us in my time of sharing for you, is to open our eyes in the schemes of the devil. Bubuksan niya ta- ang ating mga pag-iisip ng banal na Espiritu Santo Bubuksan ng, ng banal Espiritu Santo at ating pag-iisip at ipapakita niya ang mga kasinungalingan ng sitanas. He's going to, the Lord, the Holy Spirit is going to remind us of His Word. The Holy Spirit is going to, to, to teach us His Word. Again, remind and teach us again of His Word. Brothers and sisters, preach the Word of God. You have been doing this one long time ago, then do it again. I encourage you. The Bible encourages you. You are God's masterpiece. You were created in Christ to do good. And that goodness that you are doing is not for yourself. The goodness thing, the goodness that you're go, that you're doing is for many people who hasn't known Jesus Christ yet. Praise God. Asal lahat ng mga um, 
uh, brothers and sisters who are with me right now, always remember that this time is never an accident. If you haven't um, come to know who Jesus Christ is, tayo manalangin, ng, uh, maikling panalangin sa ating pagtanggap sa ating Panginoong Isa Kristo. Hallelujah. Samahan niyo po ako, Panginoon Diyos. Salamat sa pagkakatong ito na maihiyag ang inyong salita sa akin. Panginoong Heso Kristo, alam ko po na ako'y nagkasala, nagkamali. At sabi mo, Panginoon, sa inyong salita, sa inyong pagbubis ng inyong buhay, sa inyong pagkakapako sa krus, ay ibinigay mo ang kalayaan na maging anak ng Diyos. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong pag-ibig at sa pagsunod sa Diyos Ama upang ako ay maging anak ng Diyos. Sa oras na ito, inaanyayahan kita Panginoong Heso Kristo na manahan sa aking puso, inaanyayahan kita, Panginoong Heso Kristo, na baguhin mo ang aking buhay. Salamat sa pagkakataon na maging anak ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to pray now for everybody. Father God, we praise you, Lord God, for this wonderful time. Salamat, Panginoon, for every opportunity sa bawat sitwasyon na nangyayari sa aming buhay. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us, Lord God, that we are not perfect and we make mistakes, Lord God. And we praise you, Lord God, for correcting us. Correcting us through your word, Lord God. Thank you for the encouragement, Lord God, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, for reminding us na hindi ka nagsasawa, Panginoon, na kami ay inyong abutin sa lahat ng aming mga pagkakamali at baguhin, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for making us, Lord God, reminding us that we are the steward of your word, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us, Lord God, that we are a vessel, Lord God, of your goodness. Maraming maraming salamat. Salamat, Lord God, sa inyong paghipo, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord God, for being with us. Thank you, Lord God, Panginoon, sa inyong pagbabago, Panginoon. As we allow you, Lord God, to work in our minds and in our heart. Thank you, Lord God, for mightily moving, Lord God, and changing our lives. Thank you, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Lord God, also for reminding us, Lord God, that we have to preach the Word of God. Whether the time is favorable or not, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us, Lord God, that when we preach, we can use, Lord God, we will use, Lord God, your word to correct our friends, our family, to correct them, to rebuke them, Lord God, and to encourage them, Lord God, by teaching good, by teaching your word, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. For we are created, Lord God, to do good. Pagpalaan mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga kasama ko, Panginoon, sa programang ito. We praise you, O Lord God, and I declare Psalm 91 to all of my brothers and sisters who are here that no evil will conquer, no evil will conquer them, no weapon formed against them will prosper, and no COVID-19, no any form of infirmities, no plague will come near their home. For you're going to send your mighty angels, Lord God, to protect them wherever they go. Thank you, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat. At muli, Panginoon, ibinabalik namin sa iyo ang aming pasasalamat sa aming mga panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. God bless, all. God bless you all, brothers and sisters.